Hi. Hi. Don't I look terrible this morning? <laughs> Hi. How are you? Remember, I'm the one who can't remember anybody's names. Oh, I know that's Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I look really bad this morning, and I apologize, but I have a really, really crappy head cold, and my face was puffy, which makes my polka dots. Oh, well, how is my hand? Um, the surgery didn't work. Um, if I don't keep my fingers taped together, um, this finger, this is where they reconnected the tendon and fix the sheath and you can see it's still swelling um i'm cute so but anyways if i don't keep my fingers taped like this this finger will go over here um it will not um it, it's it won't work my hand basically um whoever has the purple hearts thank you that's my pretty ones yeah, I'm going for a second opinion. Well, actually, it's the uh, ortho doctor that um, first figured out what was going on, that it wasn't just a contusion. Um, and I'm going back to see him next week and see what he has to say. So um, does everybody have coffee? Because I've had two pots already this morning. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to show you guys. Um, I bought, uh, because of my hand, I'm having a problem uh, holding a brush. Yeah, I thank you very much. I'm having a big problem holding a paintbrush um, to paint on cookies or, you know, just a lot of problems with my hand. So, um, the Baker's Toy Box, um, I'm on their page, and I saw this uh, posting that Janine had for these um, refillable paint brushes. And I thought, wow, you get three of them for $15. Um, yeah, I'm going to order some. So I did. And I'm going to tell you, it was the best decision of my life. Um, well, other than um, marrying my husband. Oh, wait, he's not in here, so I don't have to say that. Um, anyways, these things, well, I think that's what they're called. They're called water brushes, but this is what they look like, okay? Um, they're not the ones for $10 to $15 a piece. Um, they're, they're a perfect size for me. Um, I like the little bit of ribbing that it has on here um, to hold on to, and it works great. Um, I wanted to show you, and by the way, I, I don't get anything from Janine um, for doing this. I just like to show you guys stuff. So what you do with these is you, um, this is the base. You can see the opening. Um, I use a dropper. Um, you know what? I got those, and I didn't like them. Um... They just seem to be a pain in the butt for me. I don't know if it was the opening it was too small because they're basically for water is what these are supposed to be for. Um, uh, if you're a painter, you can put water inside these and you blend. But I tried those and I actually took them back because they just weren't comfortable to use and I couldn't put that much of the airbrush color inside of them you know so it's just everybody's personal preference so anyways all you do is you fill it up and I use the airbrush color but I'm sure you could probably use um, Angelina Nino's mixture with the gel and the, the other lighter colors I put um, I filled them all up with um, airbrush color okay so you do this and then the fun part is you put this on top of here, but you have to remember to screw in the opposite direction that we are all used to. They, they go counterclockwise, not clockwise, okay? So, I kept my cap on, I snapped it on, and then what you do, what I did, was I just simply 
pop the top off of this. There's the top so it doesn't leak. And then you can see what I did here. Um, I just kind of lightly, lightly squeezed while dabbing it. Don't squeeze too hard. And I just lightly squeezed it to get the brush wet. And once you get it close to the tip, all the color, then just stop squeezing and keep tapping. So that's how you fill them. Now I'm going to uh, flip this over and I want to show you um, how the colors look when you're painting with them um, and how much easier it is. Now if I was an artist I'd be happy but I'm not. Okay, so, okay, there's my room. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so I'm going to do this and now I'm at an awkward angle. Now I will tell you guys that I always have iced cookies in my freezer. Um, but basically, um, let me see if I can do this without messing it up. But you can make a thick line, you can make a thin line. They come in three different sizes. You get a small, a medium, and a large. And this is the small one. And it doesn't leak, which is another problem I had with the ones from Michael's. They leaked constantly. So I took those back. Um, I mean, look at this. If I was an artist, if I could actually draw, I could make a million gazillion dollars with these. But this is a pink, and this is the wider one. Okay? Like I said, if, if you're looking for something that you're not going to pay an arm and a leg for, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, Janice, you, you, you're an artist, I'm not. I'm a ninja, Nana. But anyways, you can see, now this one, I didn't dab it first, okay? But if you dab it and don't squeeze, see what I mean? Um, you know, I'm not sure what brand they are um, because I took them out of the packages. I got them from, oh, you do the KK. I, you know, I have a Pico. I sold my KK and I got a Pico and I still have problems. Um, these are from uh, the Baker's Toy Box. That's where I got them. Um, and it's, uh, Janine sells them. And But look at this. I mean, I just, you know, I, I really like these. Um, Kinzer actually tried them. He was my first tester. And um, he loved them. I mean, he literally, he had a ball with these on cookies. Um, he was drawing all over. But you can see, this is the purple one. I filled them up with all kinds of colors. Um, I think I bought uh, nine of them. I bought three sets. And, you know, Kinzer was drawing all around. And, you know, but they're just, they're great. And I can keep these filled. In fact, I'm going to order about six more sets of them because um, I can use these for the watercolor mixture, too. Um, you want to see me draw a flower? Okay, watch. This is going to be funny. If anybody laughs, that's okay because uh, Kinzer told me that my flowers kind of look like a creature from um, Plants vs. Zombies. Um, he's a cute kid. So, anyways, this is what I did. Now, this is the wider one. And then, you know, I could just color it in. Yes, I am practicing. I, I really am. Um, I actually made a stick man the other day, and he looked like a stick man. So, but, you know, you can use these to color in. This is the wider one. Um, but if you hold it just right, you can make this a small tip. So, to me, these things are fabulous. And like I said, um, and I've told everybody all the time, I don't get a cent for promoting anything. Um, but what I, what I love to do is just show you inexpensive ways. How do you clean them? Oh, um, what you do is you would just empty this out. Now, see, I have them marked with my colors, so I'll just keep filling them. But you clean them, because um, I wanted one for each color. That way, if I suddenly got an order for something that I needed to shade or do something with or use as an outline, all I had to do is grab the pen. 
but um, all you would do to clean them is to take them apart and then rinse the brush, but rinse the brush down first and then flip it over and upside down. Because these, like I said, they come apart. Um, if you missed this part, this is how you would then screw them clockwise, but they come apart in two pieces. This is where the, uh, the food coloring or the um, airbrush color is. And then all you would do is just rinse them. I mean, it, it comes out. See, I'm doing it again. You have to screw the top on counterclockwise. And the seal on these is amazing. Um, the only reason I got some leakage when I was filling them and I contacted Janine about it um, is because I put the, the airbrush color in and um, I don't know where I got all the strength in my right hand because literally I don't have any left now after the surgery. Um, is I squeezed this sucker so hard and to get the paint to come down and you don't do that. You very lightly squeeze and then you dab the brush this part onto a paper towel and then you just you know you just keep dabbing it onto a paper towel but you know I'm like good gosh these things I could, I could probably write if I had a um, better angle or something but you know it's to me they're, they're worth it and, and they're much less price so and I'm not knocking anybody else's products trust me I don't do that but you can kind of see that I, um, I keep them all filled. And what I do is I store them like this in the cup with the brushes up. And I just keep them in a cup. Okay? And then when I need, when I know I'm going to use them, I will flip them upside down in the cup for only about five or ten minutes. That's it. Just to get you know, just to get the air bubbles and everything out of them, because sometimes you you will get an air bubble in anything. And that's basically all that I did. So if it's something that you're interested in, um, like I said, I'm going to order um, a couple more sets of these. They, like I said, you get three of these pens to a set. And they're small, medium, and large. And um, they just work perfectly for me. Um, I would rather use something like this than a paintbrush, than a regular paintbrush, because I get too shaky and I drip paint. And if you can see my cake room, um, I have enough stuff all over here. And that's just part of it. Um, I have stuff over here. Okay, now, you see that? I bought myself, ready? What is that lamp thing? A heat lamp? To dry my cookies yesterday. I splurged and surprised myself with a gift. I bought myself one. And I haven't used it yet, but I know it's going to save me a lot of time. Um, so anyways, if anybody has any more questions about these, um, you know, get a set. Get a set and try them out. But, you know, look at the lines I'm getting in the, in the color. And they're easier to clean. The color comes completely off the brush. What I seem to have a problem with is when I use, the, yes, that is a, a lamp that um, you turn it on after you've iced your cookies, you turn it on and it projects heat down. And it seals your, your royal icing um, to prevent craters and all kinds of stuff. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm also watching my storm chaser. It's called a um, heat lamp. Uh, restaurant style heat lamp. I'm watching my um, my storm chaser guys too because I'm a storm chaser, and so I'm watching my guys. Uh, they're down in uh, Texas. I think they're down in Texas right now watching the storms. So I'm kind of watching that too because I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Um, you know, they're supposed to have some pretty bad storms there. Um, and I love to watch that stuff. So anyways, if you have any questions or you want to know where to get these, um, the uh, it's called Baker's Toy Box. Um, Janine can answer any questions uh, from you also. Like I said, I ordered these for two reasons. One, because I can't use my 
fingers without taping them together because of the botch surgery. The second one is to let Kinzer help me because he loves to decorate cookies. Um, so if you don't have any more questions, um, give them a try. I would. I mean, $15 for three of them, that's a whole lot cheaper than where I've seen these in other places. And to me, they're the same thing, and they're actually more comfortable for me. So, you know, give them a try. And um, that's all I got to say, guys. You can watch this on replay, and I will post it on LTC um, in case anybody didn't get a chance to see this. This is the only time I've got to do this because I have 200 Paint Your Own cookies that I need to get baked and iced. Hi, Ronnie. Um, for Kinsert's Cookies, we got a humongous big order for cookies. And out of that $200, what's 4 into 200 Um, 50 Okay, we're going to be able to buy 50 more t-shirts to send out to kids. So we're really excited about that. So have a good day, everybody. And um, let me know what you think of them. Bye, guys.